Hi everyone, Miss Elizabeth here with Making Music Matters. In this video, we're going to talk about reading music. We've reviewed the names of our open strings, which are E, A, D, and G. But how do we know when to play those notes? Well, when we read music, we see our notes on the music staff. The music staff has five lines and four spaces. At the beginning of violin music, we see the treble clef. You can try drawing this on your own. Make sure that when you draw the treble clef, that it swirls around that second line, which is our G line. The treble clef can also be called the G clef. Great. So, to review where our open strings are on the staff, I'd like to give you a helpful hint that the space notes spell face. So from the bottom, there's F, A, C, E. So, our highest string that we have on the violin is the E string. And the E string is up in the top space. So anytime you see a note in the top space, you know that it's open E. I've written it here in several different rhythms. We have a quarter note, a half note, and eighth note. Our next string on the violin is open A. And A is also a space note and is in the word face. So remember, F, A. So our open A is the second space. Notice how the stem of the A is going up and the stem of the E is going down. That is because the note head, or the circle part of the note, is above the middle line. For the A, it's below the middle line. That's when we change the direction of the stem of the note. Our next open string is the D string. And this note is off of the staff. It sits just below the staff. I've written it again in a quarter, eighth, and half notes. Our last open string for the violin is our G string. And since it sounds the lowest, it's also the lowest on the staff. We have to draw two extra lines for the G. These two little lines are called ledger lines, and you can use them when the notes go below the staff or up above the staff. So to review, the staff has five lines and four spaces. The open strings on the violin are E, A, D, and G.